Hey everyone, Evan here, and welcome back for the fifth and final installment of our Legends of Mandalore mod showcase. In this one, we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at how to craft your very own custom Mandalorian armor set in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, guys. I want to start off by saying I give so much praise to the creators on this mod. As a massive Star Wars fan, this is something I've been wanting for a long time. Stick around for the end of the video where we're going to be showing two other awesome Star Wars mods that I think pair really well with Legends of Mandalore. Perhaps the coolest section of this mod, aside from the weapons, is the options available to fully customize your own set of Mandalorian armor. We are standing here at the Skyforge in Whiterun, and this is the only place where the weapons and armors can be crafted. However, they can be improved to any workbench or grindstone in the game. So one very important thing I need to mention is that before you even begin, you'll have to pull out this book we picked up all the way back in the first Mandalorian covert, The Secrets of Beskar and make sure that you've actually read the book first. They are then craftable under the steel category, so make sure none of your other mods severely alter the steel smithing category. Then, in order to craft most of the armor sets, you're going to need the equivalent armor set in the Ancient Mandalorian variant. For example, if you want to craft yourself some classic, traditional Mandalorian armor, you're going to first need a set of Ancient Mandalorian armor. For this video, I've actually went back and revisited all four of the coverts and collected every single piece of armor set and weapon type that I was able to, and I made a ton of copies of these items in the cheat room just so that I would have enough to be able to craft all these to show you guys. If you haven't been to all four Mandalorian coverts yet, check the playlist in the description and I go over how to find each location. So as we just go through here, you'll notice how we can craft all these different color variants for each individual piece. If we take a look at the ingredients here, you can see that these specific items are needed to craft different colors. We've got Jazz Bay Grapes and Blue Mountain Flowers for Blue Armors, Snowberries and Red Mountain Flowers for Crimson, Luna Moth Wings and Hanging Moss for Green Armors, and so on and so on. Uh, here in my inventory, you're actually able to take a look at all of the ingredients you'll need to craft any particular color. Um, so if you just want to know right off the bat what you're going to need to get for what color you might want, um, just take a look at this. Aside from those things, uh, in the actual miscellaneous category, you'll just need some charcoal, leather, leather strips, silver ingots, and plenty of that sweet, sweet Beskar. Now, real quick, let's take a look at some of the coolest combinations in the game. First, you're using all of the base Mandalorian armor, we have Din Djarin. If you want to play as not just a Mandalorian, but THE Mandalorian, this armor set is perfect. Next, we have some Death Watch armor with a Night Owl helmet and a nice blue Vizsla Death Watch cape. Then we have our Skyrim Boba Fett, good for fetching bounties and fighting with the Empire against the Rebel Scum Stormcloaks. The Nordic Mandalorian armor feels very in tune with Skyrim's lore and allows for a little more immersion during a playthrough infected with as many Star Wars mods as I could find. And finally, the white armor just feels right for the snowy landscape of Skyrim, and all the hoods in this mod just look super great. Okay, so we have settled on a final look here for our character as promised. We are now going to be briefly showing you two other Star Wars mods that I think pair uh, really well with Legends, Legends of Mandalore. First, we have Snippy, a droid follower. Snippy is a Dwemer creation resembling BB-8, and since I found him after I started looking more into Star Wars mods for Skyrim on Xbox, he has not left my side. He's the most entertaining follower mod from, that I've had by my side in quite some time, and I find that his beeps and boops always seem to come in at the right time and frequency to keep me laughing. Plus, look how good he does the stairs. Up next we have Skyrim Wars. This one is actually a collection you know of multiple creations, and this mod is absolutely huge and adds so many cool things into the game. It starts by overhauling the Civil War questline, replacing the Stormcloak armor with Jedi robes and the Imperial armor as Stormtrooper armor. It also turns General Tullius into Darth Vader, whose armor is also craftable. So you can run around and have fun throwing people around and killing everyone in Skyrim as Darth Vader, with and without breathing sound effects, but let's be real, you totally have to leave the breathing sound effects on. This mod also adds unique Magicka Sabers into the game, which gives you a ton of graphical lightsabers, including a dark saber of its own, which all can be found under the Daedric Smithing category. It also adds a couple of cool Force spells, and if the Mandalorian armors in Legends of Mandalore weren't enough for you guys, this mod also adds a craftable Boba and Django Fett armor. There are some issues uh, with these two armors in particular in my game, so if you're experiencing these same things with Skyrim Wars with the uh, Boba Fett and Django Fett armors, let me know in the comments down below. 
that is actually going to wrap it up for this mod showcase series thanks so much for watching and thanks uh, so much to those of you who have been here with us for episodes one through four as well and again if you have not seen those check the link in the description below for uh, the playlist including all of those let us know what you thought of legends of mandalore in the comments below click like and subscribe for future gaming content and that is all peace out